All right, so let's try to make a nice list that a boss can use uh, to uh, mark uh, content as important and have that listed um, in a tab here. All right, uh, to do this, uh, first thing we do is to make sure that we have a tag that you can use for listing important content. So I'm going to edit a piece of content here and add a tag on it. I'm going to call it important content. Let's make a capital I here. There. Now when I have this tag, it means that I can click on it and by doing that get a list of all the important content, all, all the stuff tagged with this important content tag. Now note this uh, path up here. I'm going to copy that because I want to add a link, a menu link here to uh, to this page. So let's let's actually keep this one open. I'm going to uh, open the structure options in in a new tab here instead. And I'm going to go into menus. And just as the let's go back here, sorry. Just as these links up here were called secondary links, these tabs here are called primary links. And as we can see in the menu settings, uh, uh, the main menu, oh, it's called the main links, sorry, not primary links. Uh, the main menu is used to build the main links. This is a kind of a weird thing. Well, it takes, it takes a little uh, thought before you can wrap your head around it. Uh, that you have links, links that are places on the page, and then you have menus that you can uh, send to these links, or links can use menus to to render links. It's it's not obvious at first sight, but eventually it will become well less confusing at least. So, in the main menu, let's have a look at the link links here. We all only have home right now, and I can add a new link, which I'm going to call important news and news and the path is this one I'm gonna use the internal path I could have used the full path um, like this one uh, but that would be kind of bad if I move the site somewhere else it will link to this static address uh, now uh, it only points internally to this page here which also means it can use URL aliases and stuff it, it actually should be important content here I guess Description, read the late, latest important news. And um, since I want this to, to be placed after the home tab, like to the right of it, I can either save here and click and drag to make it, uh, the order right, or I can uh, right here add a higher weight than zero, because I happen to know that the home tab has a weight of zero. But I could just as just as well click and drag here and save. All right, so um, that should be it then. Let's see if I reload this page. I have now important content tab, and I can go home instead, and the important content tab is still here. Nice. Let's just see if I add a, a second article, mark it as important content. Im Important content. There we go. Scroll down and save. Uh, I can now, it's marked important content. You would like in this case to have, uh, well, I'm not actually visiting those, so let's, let's visit this article, boss's second article. In this case, you would like this tab to be active, I guess, but that's a whole different chapter making that happen. It's definitely possible, no problem, but you'll need an extra module for it. All right, and if I go into this tab now, I should have two articles here. This one and this one. Nice. All right, so that's it um, uh, for this exercise. I hope that was uh, a little bit useful. Um, when you do this on, on real sites, uh, well, this is an example of how you can use Drupal core features and stuff built in Drupal core uh, to create lists and menu tabs and stuff. Uh, if you want to do this on a real site in a real project, you most likely want to use the views module, not uh, not reusing um, uh, tags and categories for this because it's not really a tag thing here. Uh, 
uh, you're, you're mixing important content, well the important content tag is not really a tag, it's some kind of thing that tells uh, your site where this content should be displayed. And in that case you want to use diffuse instead. But it's a good example of what you can do with uh, taxonomy terms. Alright, see you in the next exercise. Bye!